What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today is Monday, March 13th, and in today's video, we have some breaking news. Bitcoin has pumped from 22 to 24,000 US dollars, almost 15% increase in the past 24 hours. But not only that, the whole cryptocurrency market has taken a pump. Now, why is that? Well, obviously, that is due to the USDC coin going back to its $1 peg. I'm gonna describe everything in this video very concise of what's going on. Why is Bitcoin pumping? And what has happened with the banks that have happened in the US that have literally been shut down over the weekend? There's a result of all this and I wanna share it concise and briefly with you all. So be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I'll never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging or email. So please be careful and invest safely. So let's not waste any time guys and girls. Let's get right into it. Why is Bitcoin pumping? We did talk about that circle. The USDC stablecoin has been repaid to its dollar trading. And over the weekend, we were just told by Circle that they were able to get 100% of their 3.3 billion US dollars in their treasury back into their wallet so that now people can now use that USDC and send it to any other cryptocurrency, trade it, sell it, whatever you want. And it seems like people have decided, you know what, I'm gonna put my USDC into Bitcoin. Now, let's talk about some crazy things that have happened because Silicon Valley Bank was one of many three banks. There was Silvergate, then there was Signature Bank, and now Silicon Valley Bank was also one of the banks that were closed down. Now, it was sued by shareholders for fraud. Now, this is people who are not into cryptocurrency. This is people who just were in the tech industry. And these people are now filing a lawsuit and filing all these claims against Silicon Valley Bank. Now, what's really interesting is that trading halted for U.S. banking stocks after Biden made a speech today saying that the banking system is safe. So that's really interesting to see that because now that banks are unreliable and untrustworthy to hold your funds because who's to say that banks won't shut down? Yeah, you're covered 250,000 U.S. dollars from the FDIC, but what if you have way more money in that, into the millions? It may not benefit people who are institutions or family offices. Now, this is the result of all the banks that have shut down their trading. It's absolutely crazy to see this in front of our faces. And as a result, we've seen Bitcoin literally pump to the upside immediately on today's opening day of trading. Now, what's really interesting on top of all this is that the IMF, also known as the International Monetary Fund, warns the G20 summit that growth of Bitcoin and crypto could lead to banks losing deposits, that's a little fishy because we know that the IMF works really closely with banks and is for the bank's interest. So for them to claim something like this seems like it could be a targeted event. Was all three of these banks such as Silvergate, Signature, and Silicon Valley Bank just a coincidence? I don't think so. And also, when we think about it, President Biden says US taxpayers will not bear any losses of the Silicon Valley Bank collapse. I do not believe this. I do think that taxpayers will be covering the losses. This is a great example of how the richer get richer and the poorer get poorer. Because again, some certain people are getting bailed out and some certain people are not. And so we, the taxpayers, may be covering the loss of this bank collapse. That's why we in the United States are in trillions of dollars in debt because of these mistakes. Now, even not only that, we have Janet Yellen who said no bailout for Silicon Valley Bank. Now, why is she saying this? She says, what I want to do is emphasize that the American banking system is really safe and well capitalized, but it's absolutely not as we've seen. Now, if they are trying to help people in the innovation within tech industries, then the FDIC or the Treasury Secretary, Janet Yellen, should have supported helping them. That's what going to these banks are for. And so in a way, this affects not just the tech industry, but the crypto innovation industry as well, pushing the interest of innovation overseas. So in fact, it actually puts America at a disadvantage and why Janet Yellen, I think, supports the banks. So why do I say that? Because Signature Bank board member said this, that regulators shut down the bank to send a strong quote unquote anti-crypto message because Signature Bank takes a lot of risks. They provide uh, a lot of 
first startup companies with the capital that they need to start in the tech industry, but also to support companies like Circle, which is regulated within the US as a stable coin for the USDC coin. We do know that the US government is trying to start their CBDC or centralized banking digital currency. And what they wanna do is make people go to that rather than go to a decentralized USDC. So that's really crazy to see all this happening right in front of our faces and people saw that and that's why exactly why Bitcoin jumped up. I want to remind everybody, these smaller banks such as Signature, Silvergate, and also Silicon Valley Bank, these are small banks compared to the big ones, the really big ones. Now you need to know something, these bigger banks own a lot of smaller banks. And so right now, Silicon Valley Bank is up for sale. And so I'm pretty sure one of these big banks is gonna to try to buy that smaller bank. But Janet Yellen and also some of the people in Congress work for these banks. They work for the interest of these banks. So what you're seeing from Janet Yellen is that she's trying to fight for the interest of the big banks. She works for the big bank's interest. That's what we're seeing. But there's a good upside to this because as a result of all this greediness between you know the treasury secretary and the banks and this what seems like coincidentally a curated attack towards crypto. Some results have positively affected Bitcoin and everything else within the crypto market. So Forbes made a really interesting little note today. Forbes Magazine, which tends to follow the bank route, even said this, while traditional banks struggle to maintain the trust of their customers, Bitcoin decentralized system is subtly looking at least a little appealing. That's very interesting that they're saying that. But even Kathy Wood said this, we were not surprised that Bitcoin appreciated as US bank stocks imploded. And we all absolutely agree with that. And now if you look at the chart, this is what happened. We saw that Silicon Valley Bank dropped, so that means Bitcoin dropped. But also we started seeing a bank contagion. We were concerned that all these other banks were gonna get affected. So people who did not know about cryptocurrency or maybe are familiar with cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, they're like, where do we put our funds? Do we put it into real estate because we can't trust our money in the bank? Do we put it to gold? Or do we put it to Bitcoin? Because with Bitcoin, you can actually own self custody of that and you own that asset, especially if you put it in a cold storage wallet instead of a hot wallet. So keep that in mind. And that's why I believe in conclusion of this video, why Bitcoin has pumped. This is just the start. This is the catalyst for the next bull run. That's my sole belief. Now, if you disagree, please leave a comment down below. Could we experience any manipulation in the market? Absolutely. A lot of people were liquidated in trading you know, what their bare case scenario, thinking that Bitcoin was gonna go below 20,000, that did not happen. Literally, just four days ago, Bitcoin was at 20,000. Just not too long ago, Ethereum was at 1,400. Not too long ago, Polygon was at a dollar. Now look what has happened. We've seen this massive pump. How long will this last? We can expect volatility because right now, Bitcoin is on the headline news. This is all breaking news. I cannot wait to share this with you and we will share further updates. If you want time centers of data, you need to subscribe to the channel. You need to like up the button and also join our Patreon page. Receive all of our alpha calls in both buy and sell orders, both in cryptocurrency and NFTs. Until then, I'll see you guys and girls next time.